All right, so how to get there. First things first, click on synthetic monitoring, and you're gonna see this network health checks section. Now that we've added the network health checks, there's really a lot of stuff here under synthetic, so we've broken it out and kind of organized it into real browser, API checks, and network health checks. And within those are the various pages that are associated with each, with each type of synthetic monitor. So, so with network health checks, like I mentioned, we have an overview, a performance detail, and a test results. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is go and create a new network health checks monitor. All right, so on this synthetic monitors page, uh, we're going to create a network health checks monitor option here at the bottom of the list. All right, so we're going to network health checks monitor. We're going to create one of these for the Blue Triangle Help Center. And I'm going to just go ahead and drop that in right now. It's help.bluetriangle.com. So that's the destination <clears throat> um, that we want to measure. Um, so we'll leave it at ICMP. Like I mentioned before, if you wanted to set it to TCP, you'd also be able to specify a port. The page name, page group, and traffic segment. Uh, I'm going to just copy the monitor name into the page name here. The, these are all just ways to segment the data. If you have a lot of these, you can group them together uh, with the page, give them the same page group uh, or traffic segment. Um, we'll say every five minutes, agent locations, we're going to say Seattle and DC. Now report cycles, uh, remember this is uh, how many, basically how many trace routes are gonna run per measurement. So we'll set that to, let's say five. Um, you can, we can configure the uh, packet size here, we'll just leave it at 32, and the, uh, the max number of hops. All right, so as far as alerting goes, this is where you'll be able to set up uh, and configure the thresholds for your alerts. So, the air tracking configuration is, is where you want to is where you want to be for that. So, the timing ro window rolling. This is basically the evaluation window or the look back period. You'll want to make sure there's going to be enough uh, samples or measurements within this time period. So, we're running this every five minutes frequency. So we're going to set the timing window rolling to let's just say 30 minutes and um, so in that 30 minutes uh, we're going to say air state tracking the number of runs with errors well, let's say there must be at least two runs with errors and there must be at least two different locations uh, that are failing. So with that configuration, I'm going to probably just add a couple of more of these. So over the past 30 minutes, at least two locations must be showing an error, or and uh, there must be at least two errors, right? Um, now, a couple other thresholds that you can set are the packet loss percentage and the jitter thresholds. So these are the defaults here, 1.5 and 20 milliseconds but you can go up or down a little bit for those. So then just be sure to drop your email address in here or a notification group, otherwise you won't get any, you won't get notified. So remember to do that. You can do reminders for those uh, alerts. You just click yes here and then remind, remind you every day, three days, seven days, etc. And if it if it fails, you're you're able to do a uh, retry on error. So we're all done here. Um, we filled out the uh, the configuration 
and we're gonna go ahead and click review changes and create all right so network health checks check all right and here is our synthetic monitor 